During the month of Ramadan, Islamic religion involves fasting from sunrise until sunset. According to Islamic law, however, breastfeeding mothers do not necessarily have to fast. Breastfeeding mothers can make up any missed fast at a later date. Pregnant and breastfeeding mothers are exempted from fasting according to the Hadith. Some cultures interpret the Hadith very generally and will not fast at all if breastfeeding. In other cases and in Arab cultures in particular, mothers will only miss fast in cases of hardship. They will often continue to fast during breastfeeding unless it has a negative effect on them or their babies. If they do not fast at the appropriate time, they will have to pay back the fast when they are able. Some mothers with children spaced very close together will choose to make up for the fast after all their children have weaned. Some scholars say that instead of making up for the fast, these mothers can pay a compensation by feeding poor people a meal for the number of fasts missed. An important factor to consider when you are thinking of fasting is the age of your baby. If your baby is still very young, like less than 6 months, and is completely dependent on breast milk, then you should not fast. If your baby is more than a year old, already on complementary foods, and drinks breast milk only a few times a day, or only during bedtime, then you may be able to fast with little or no comfort. Women who have a baby less than 6 months old, live in hot climates, have low incomes, have multiple babies, and who are older than 35 years old are most at risk of severe dehydration and should not fast until weaning has occurred. The same goes for women who have confirmed low milk supply, must supplement, have a child that is underweight or ill, take medications or have health conditions that make it difficult to breastfeed. If a mother really wants to fast, she can do partial fasting that is committing to 2 to 3 days a week. The intermittent style of fasting during Ramadan can usually provide enough time for a healthy, well-nourished mother to eat and drink between dusk and dawn. Intermittent fasting is not thought to be associated with decreasing milk supply or a change in the major nutrient composition of breast milk. However, intermittent fasting may affect the micronutrients in breast milk. Some breastfeeding mothers may prefer to fast with the rest of the family rather than fasting at a later date. If this is the case and the baby is exclusively breastfed, it is recommended that the mother discuss fasting with her health professional first to avoid complications. It is mostly recommended for mothers to stay cool, well rested and hydrated and that she should watch her baby for any signs he is not getting enough milk. If a mother thinks that she can fast, then it is very important to keep herself hydrated by drinking lots of water between iftar and suhoor, making sure she eats a nutritious iftar and suhoor meal and has plenty of rest during the day will ease the fast. If a mother produces very little or no urine, feel disoriented and confused or faint as a result of dehydration, she must stop fasting and have a drink of water or other liquids. Islam doesn't require you to make yourself ill when you fast. If a fast is broken, it will need to be compensated for by fasting at a later date. Severe dehydration needs urgent medical treatment and may reduce milk supply. Warning signs of dehydration are feeling dizzy, headache, fatigue, dark concentrated urine, dry mouth, lips and eyes. If a fasting mother is worried that her baby is not getting enough milk supply, especially when the baby cries constantly, has fewer wet diapers, passes green colored stool, or has weight loss, she should stop fasting and immediately contact her doctor or a lactation consultant. So the conclusion is that breastfeeding mothers are exempted from fasting during Ramadan. The fast can be made up at a later date. However, if a mother feels fasting would be manageable for her and wouldn't affect her own or her baby's health, she may choose to fast or do partial fasting.